Hey everybody, it's Undone Lyric, and you know, I'm gonna post this up on the TGN. Hi people, what's up? Alright, so I have a couple little things to kind of talk to you about. Some of it a little Call of Duty related, some of it not so much. First of all and foremost, it's not going to be really too Call of Duty related. And then we'll get into some other stuff, okay? So one thing I kind of wanted to bring up is, I don't know if you guys have heard about this uh, cell phone hacker guy. Uh, he's been in the news, all this kind of crazy stuff. He uh, basically was supposedly guessing the passwords of these cell phones. Some of them happen to be celebrities. So... You know, when you're, you know, doing some cell phone hacking or hacking on any level and you do it with kind of a high prestige type person where, you know, you're going to get caught, you know, it's, it's going to happen, you know, kind of sucks for him. Uh, you know, obviously he shouldn't have been doing that kind of thing to begin with, but, you know, what are you going to do? So why am I bringing this up right now? Well, because there's one part in here that just amazed me. He got 50 counts, five zero counts of, uh, I guess, I don't know, wire fraud or something, uh, against him for doing this. Now, the, t the jail time that he is facing, not necessarily that he's charged with, but the jail time he is facing right now is over 150 years. 150 years, just for guessing some passwords to some cell phones. You're going to put someone in jail for 150 years? I mean, ugh, if that <laughs> I mean, he could, he could go kill somebody and get less time. Seriously, he could. I I just I don't know. The justice system is uh, not not great. I mean, I think maybe they should give him some fines, some like you know, good hefty fines he's got to pay. Maybe a little bit of jail time, but 150 years just for goofing off and having a little bit of fun. I don't know. I don't know. So the other thing I kind of want to talk to you a little bit about is the infield in itself as the gun. It's kind of an ugly gun. Um, it's kind of boxy looking. I, I don't like the way it looks at all, but it works really good. The fire rate's pretty decent. The damage is really good. Um, hip fire works on it really well. I think it's a very underused gun. You don't hardly ever see anyone use the infield. You unlock it so early. I mean, what what is it like level like seven or ten or something like that? You got the infield. Somewhere, somewhere in that range. I don't know. I haven't prestiged in a little while. But it it just works so great. I love it. You guys should really, really try that out. If you guys have not been using the infield lately or much at all or whatever, I would definitely say try out the infield. Give it a second chance if you haven't. Because not too many people really go around using it too, too much. And, you know, the time frame... The time frame, as far as like the time of day on Call of Duty, always like I don't know. It almost looks depressing sometimes because it's like 5:30 in the afternoon. I like bright lights. I like bright lights. You know, like all right. So for uh, for example, on a map like Stadium, okay, or Terminal from Modern Warfare 2, that kind of stuff where it's really bright, vibrant, colorful. I like that. I like that a little bit more. I do, and. I wish they'd come out with some more maps like that, because it's like, oh, this is a map, blah 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 blah. That's <laughs> that's how it looks to me when I'm when I'm seeing this kind of stuff. It's just just really weird, and I kind of want to get into uh, some of like the YouTube community. I said this in my first video I posted for TGN, and I didn't quite have enough time to really nail and dig into it and really kind of, you know. Get, get my thoughts across on, on the YouTube community, kind of like, you know, what's happening with it, where it's going, why people act the way they are, that type of stuff. So, ah, man, yep. I, and, you know, one thing that I, I will give as, like, a really good tip to you guys, if you do run your own channel or if you're thinking about running your own channel, this is a really, really great tip. And it's going to be more of, you know, the power of being nice on YouTube. Now you might have like heard this from other people, maybe you've never heard this. Maybe you're just one of those guys that just goes to every single video and you're like, this sucks. You you don't know how to put up videos properly or, or something, something like that, okay? That never goes as far as a nice comment that you could leave somebody or a nice reply. You know, if someone leaves me, you know, some kind of comment, and you know, I get comments like this, like, oh wow, you know, you're a great commentator, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'll be like, wow, you know, thanks a lot. I really, really appreciate that. And, you know, 
boom, and then I get another subscriber, <laughs> okay? Or I might get a subscriber because someone else saw me write a nice comment back to somebody. You know, I always comment back to people um, as much as I can because, you know, it keeps it, keeps it more active, keeps it more vibrant. And, you know, if you get a comment on your video and they're like, oh, you, you suck, you know, I'll just, I, I will actually be really nice in my comment and reply back. I'll be like, you know, I'm sorry you feel that way, but, you know, I'm doing what I do and... You know, hopefully you can find someone else that, you know, accommodates your needs as far as, you know, gameplay commentary or whatever. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll totally go that route. And I'm not being like a smart ass or anything like that when I'm doing it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm being truthful because that's just the kind of person I am. You know, I'm like a really cool down to earth kind of guy. You know, real friendly, that kind of stuff. So now more on the YouTube community. Now I want to talk about kind of like what's happening. What's happening in the YouTube community? Well... And in my perspective, in my eyes, what's happening in the community this is my opinion. My opinions, and if you have an opinion on that, feel free to express it if you'd like um, in the comments below. But what's happening in the YouTube community? It just feels like the rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer. And so you might be like, "What do you mean, man? What do you mean the rich are getting richer?" Well, not in the sense of monetary value, in the sense of view counts, and subscribers, and stuff like that. You know, if you have a lot of pull, I, I'm going to call it pull. All right, if you have a lot of pull in the YouTube community, meaning you have a lot of subscribers, a lot of views, it's a lot easier for you to have a high view count, obviously, on your videos. And, you know, if you don't, then it's really hard to get your video up there. So, you know, one of the only real ways around that kind of thing is to either, you know, partner up with some people that get a lot of views, which is a lot harder than it sounds. <laughs> Because not too many. I mean, because you got to think. A lot of these, you know, big guys or big companies have, you know, a couple hundred to a couple thousand people a day trying to message them, like, give me a shout out, give me. And then they go to their channel and they have just like a montage with no commentary or something like that, you know. And, and it, it just really becomes really hard. So honestly, when it comes down to it, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It comes down to who you know, or if you just so happen to hit the lottery and get lucky, and you know, someone kind of helps you out that's that's really I mean I, I almost hate to say it that way but that's the best way to get from you know 20 views per video to maybe a thousand views per video is to you know get to that sort of point okay and you know the other thing was you know why people are acting the way that they are now what I mean by this is more of li along the lines of you know, um, say someone it has a big channel. You know, some people are like, "Oh no, I'm I'm not gonna help no one." You know, I'm I'm where I'm at. There's no reason to create more competition, stuff like that. I don't think like that. You know, one day if I do end up, you know, becoming really big and I blow up or whatever, I will definitely try to help out smaller channels that I think really deserve it. You know, I'm not gonna help someone out that, you know, never posts and you know all that kind of stuff. But if someone is like really trying and they, they do really great commentaries I will do my best to try to help them out because I know I would have liked that when I was small and so far I haven't really had too much help TGN is probably the first place that I've been that's really had like an established name behind them and stuff like that that really could actually actually help me out <laughs> I mean really so you know for that kind of thing you know I'm, I'm pretty thankful for that and you know I'd like to do that same thing to someone when and if, you know, I get to a point, you know, where, you know, I, ha I have some pull, you know, and one day I will do it. There's no stopping me. It, it will happen. This will happen. I've already decided. So that's pretty much the end of the gameplay, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go check out my channel and have a great day.